630-16. Sounds slightly too high. What's going on guys? Eric coming back at you from the Nerd Cave. And today we are headed out to Cybertron Games in Winter Park. I did actually record an intro, but unfortunately my sound was not on for the first like 20 or 30 seconds of clips. So I wanted to give a quick intro. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into today's clips. Maybe I was in the store one time. Or I was just in a store that was a similar layout. Maybe. I like it though. Do they have Godzilla? Huh? So do they have Godzilla? That's always one that I'm looking for. Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so, but I know that one's supposed for a little bit too. It is expensive, yeah. If they did have it, it'd probably be in the case. I also always look for Minecraft story mode, but that's another Same one. Same thing with Fortnite. Fortnite story mode goes for a lot too. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? No, it's I like uh, it's not Frank, on my radar. Fortnite, uh, the regular, the edi regular edition for Fortnite for PS4 goes for like 100 bucks. What? Yes. That's crazy. Then Anthony spots a game that I had been looking for for quite a while. I actually had just recently found Final Fantasy Tactics Advance to Grimoire of the Rift. Yeah, so they got, they got, well, you, you already picked one up anyway. What, A2? Yeah, but it's like bucks for it. For complete? Yeah. Oh, wow. I feel like I got a really good deal now. No, I think Is that sealed? Like, it doesn't say sealed. Because I feel like I've seen it for cheaper before here, too. It's way back there. There's always one game worth telling you I'm looking for. I need Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Yeah. It's not expensive or anything. I just need to find one. I feel like they had one in Daltona. Oh, at a video game trader? Yeah. Video Game Trader in Deltona is easily one of our favorite Central Florida game stores. Although the store in Winter Park was definitely coming up on it, I pick up a few games here to so stick around to see everything that I find. I haven't been there in a while. Last time I went there, I bought the, that Pikachu N64. Oh. $5.50 for Pokemon Yellow. Hmm? $5.50 for Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, I, I'll stick with my repro box for that one. Thank you. <laughs> right. Video Game Trader? Uh, I want to say like uh, two or three, two years. Like yeah, two probably a couple of years. You're just speaking about Chrono no. Cross. No, Final Fantasy Tactics is we had no Oh, okay. So, Chrono Cross. That's a little more reasonable. I could, it might have gone up a little bit. You could probably get it keep cheaper if you got the greatest hits, but who wants the green spine, right? That's why I'm getting a Final Fantasy VII from you. Because <laughs> I don't have a, a non-greatest hits copy, plus my freaking case is destroyed. Yeah. I, it's my original one when I was a kid, and my brother dropped it and shattered it. Uh, so, I need a replacement. I brought a few complete inbox games for Anthony, including Final Fantasy VII Black Label, Ico and the Ico collection, which he was planning on paying me for, but we decided to work something else out. <laughs> they have oh, yeah. uh, advanced two card only for forty, which is not terrible. Yeah, but if I, if DS games, I like to try to get the complete. Yeah, and I, I don't fault you for that. That is the way to go, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the NCAA fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> but I can get a second copy. Complete. Oh yeah. Three. How much is it? 125. No, that's not terrible complete. It's not actually, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. So, all the amiibos. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, Picking that up. I want to look at it, though. Getting weird with it. Introducing the epic challenge that only the Super Nintendo Entertainment System could make possible. Across endless land and water, you search. Deep into a parallel world, where light becomes dark, you search. And just when you think your search has ended, you 
you find it's just begun. The new Legend of Zelda, a link to the past. Now you're playing with power and superpower. What's the past? I don't know what they The vintage getting that up. Hmm? For the vintage goodness. So Anthony spots Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for Super Nintendo, which is not only a great Super Nintendo game, but this particular copy is complete in box and was priced at just $200. Pretty sure that game goes for over $300, so it was a great find. Want to see a virtual boy? Who doesn't? <laughs> that is a, a console I still want to get in my collection. For sure. That's not as they had an open one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they still do. That bomber man's crazy. Hmm? That bomber man is crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the party pack with the multi tap. Lilu Dallas multi pass. And uh, this is. Lilu Dallas multi pass. Right? No? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> the only thing I want to look for to the PS2 games is any of the older. Armor Core, they all shot up in price like ridiculous. Yeah. And like the two that I own, one of them, I think it's like 15 bucks, it's like 80 bucks now. Because they announced crazy. the new Armor Core. So they all shot up. I had bought the original one for PlayStation 1 for 70, it's over 200 now. That's crazy. Then you have the new one and they just went crazy. I'm sad because they used to have one here and I should have picked it up. Besides so like the armor course up, the only other PlayStation team I'm looking for is um, Dot Hack. I need, I need the second one. Yeah. Yeah, from the original, like the, the, the four. I have the other ones I picked up from uh, the other the other shop. I, I need the second one though. The struggle is real at a certain point. <laughs> Can you tell me how much that Pandora's Tower is? Hundred. Hundred. I was also curious if I could see the warrior where it touched that's down in that case. Yeah, it's on the side. Pretty fine. If you didn't know this about me, I'm a bit of a Wario fan, and more specifically, a WarioWare fan. I love the micro games, the mini games. It's just great pick up and play, fun, fast paced stuff. One of my favorite games is WarioWare Twisted for GBA. This game is getting more and more expensive and features a gyroscope in it. So you turn the GBA all different ways to play the micro games. It's a great game, and I highly recommend you guys check it out. I will do that one. Thank you. Do you already have a stack going? No, that's it for me. Oh, that's going to be Yeah. I'm always looking for loose Amiibos, but it's like, I, I have more than half of the Amiibos that have come out, so finding the loose ones that I still need. Which it's like, missing? I'm missing some of the ones that are up there, but it's like, I don't want to pay that price and then take them out of the box kind of thing. Yeah. You know, so, not that the price is wrong for in-box, I just, I'm just going to open it. <laughs> $37.22 uh, is your total. But yeah, mostly I'm looking for the, there's like four or five Mario ones that I'm missing. I can get my freaking card out of my wallet. Oh, do you have a comfort? Thank you. I don't. Do you want to start one? Sure. So Why not? On each visit, whatever you spend over $15, you get a stamp. We'll give you two to start off. And when you fill it up, it's $20 off your next visit. Oh, nice. Awesome. Thank you so much. No so after I check out, I walk over and kind of more notice the retro section, which was in the section I had spent a lot of time in. Uh, Anthony's over there currently looking at a copy of Paper Mario that they had $100 on, and it is cartridge only for N64. So let's jump into that. It's not, I think it's like 15 bucks what it normally is. Sure. But. Are you gonna ever try to find a complete? No, I'm not. I don't really care about getting the some most of the N64 games complete. I don't. The only one I have is the Majora's Mask, and I actually kind of regret it because it's so beat up. Yeah. Like I was gonna end up going for like the, the Pokemon Snap complete and stuff, and then I realized the only difference really is it has just like the manual it doesn't have anything extra. So I'm like, eh, I don't really care. The biggest thing I wanted was the Link to the Past. That's not terrible for that Batman around them. 
And if I ever run into freaking Earthbound, which will never happen. <laughs> right. That's one that's definitely on my list, but not for today. Help for Wonder Kids save the planet from hideous destruction. Venture through eight mysterious levels to gain power and put an end to the interstellar threat. Beware. The ultimate test is the encounter with a powerful guidance. The planet in Earthbound from Nintendo. It's on my list. I just, I'm never. I know I'm never gonna run into one in the wild. That's the problem. Unless the other shop has one, which is <laughs> they have once before. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you, you've been to Royal Empire before. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. I'm pretty. If it's still in the same place, it's right over. Yeah, by. it's there. It's just um, it's just um, in the next thing over. Ah, it's, it's a like lot a bigger. Thing. What? They have wear back. As I'm standing there, I spot behind the counter, they have a, what looks to be a complete copy of We're Back on Super Nintendo, a dinosaur story movie I absolutely recommend to everyone. As a 90s kid, and as a 90s kid, a little boy in the 90s, I freaking loved dinosaurs, and I love this movie. But let's see if it's complete. We're Back. You've never seen that, that movie? No. We're Back, a dinosaur story? You've oh, never seen We're Back? Okay, yeah. I yeah didn't so realize. they made a video it's game and it's terrible. Oh. No, it's pretty it's pretty good. It's it's like a platformer. It's okay. <laughs> You're like, uh, it's awful. Yeah, no, it's it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's the only thing I want to pick up here. I think Mario is still tempting. I might see if it goes for like 85. This is when paying cash is always helpful. Yeah. I never oh, listened. I what? Never got cash. You guys want to do any cheaper on the Paper Mario? Like 85 or no? Um, yeah, I guess it's one of those games we need to go over. Um, let me check what we get for it. Yeah. I don't know if it would be 85. It might be maybe $5 off, but I don't think it would be. Yeah, if you can take a look. Cars Royce, we paid $85 for it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, 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 I'll take that. Okay, 95 Yeah, I'll take it for 95 And while you're over here, can I see that copy of Wear Back? And never mind about the plastic thing. I mean, you can open it and take a look at it if you need to. So the first thing I noticed when he hands it to me is this game is priced at $37, which even at the time that we were having this conversation, it's probably about a $50 to $60 game complete in box. Thank you. Yeah, just send us a picture, man. We'll give you a flow and everything. All right, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's got all the stuff. It has all the stuff. Oh, okay, now that I see the uh the, the, the stuff front, I recognize it. <laughs> I do not need to be collecting games for Super Nintendo at all, but I'm pretty sure I have to have this. Once I saw it was complete and honestly in really nice condition, I knew it needed to come home with me. And here it is, in my home. Very happy to have it. There you go. So I buy that too, I suppose. I have a problem. You're gonna get it? Yeah. Do you want me to pay for it with my stuff and I can take off what I'm gonna pay you? Oh yeah, if you want. I, 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 since you already checked out, I have to check out anyway. Okay. Let's we'll take off what, uh, what I'm gonna pay you for your stuff. Yeah. If that's cool. Yeah, okay. yeah that's totally fine. I actually wanna say maybe. What else you want? A couple games. So initially I was trying to make sure I save money for the next store, but Anthony brought up the point that he owed me about $100 for the few games that I brought him. And so why not just go ahead and add this to his stack? He'll pay for it. And if there's anything else I want to get, go ahead and grab it. So at that point, I noticed a few more games on the shelf and decided I needed to take a look. If I could bug, bug you to see a couple more games when you have a second. No rush. Oh. Do you want to see another? Yeah, if I could see a couple more. Which one? Um, if I could see the Jurassic Park 2. Uh, so and it might be complete, I'm not sure. But you'll have to that one it. I am. Then we're going to take that one. Oh, okay. I'm going to get that one. Okay. I'm going to hold off on my stuff over there. Oh, okay. I'll hold off on that one. So this Jurassic Park 2 immediately felt incomplete. People who have held enough games definitely know what I'm talking about. Also, they had it priced at $75, which is more than I wanted to pay for an incomplete copy. Although if it was complete, that is a pretty good deal. I'll this one back. And then if I could also see um, the Dungeon Master and then also the Daffy Duck. And the middle bottom. Oh, and the bottom on the middle. Yeah. Oh, the right. Daffy Duck uh, in the middle row. Second from the top. And then Dungeon Masters, one up from the bottom. Dungeon Masters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, down. And one, sorry, what was the other one? 
Uh, the Daffy Duck. Okay, cool. Uh, second from the top. Okay. This one's a replacement case. Yeah, so there's one of the protectors on it. But... Yeah, no it's not the original box, unfortunately. No. It's, it's just uh, it's hard to tell from the spine. Yeah, it so is. Sorry to... We just kept it that way because it's the actual, it's the original, like... I just feel bad for being like, you take Rental it out and like, the box. Yeah. It's the original box from the game, it's just... Oh, wow. They cut it for oh, the rental. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we kept it. It's like, all right, we'll just keep that's, it. That is kind of cool. Yeah. So although Duck Dodgers is definitely a game I have nostalgia for from my childhood, it is also incomplete. It doesn't have the manual. And like I mentioned before, I really shouldn't be collecting SNES games right now anyway. I was also curious about the Royal Rumble at the time. Again, this had a protector. And that's, a, that's, that's probably a question on prize. I meant to look that one up because the condition of the box. Yeah. So. That's horrible. I am curious. I'm gonna save you the I'll save you the energy. In the ring, out of the ring, out of control! WWF Royal Rumble on Super Ready at 16 Meg Man! This guy's rocking! It's perfect! Mm, like any game, it's like kinda all over the place. Condition is like so, I'm sorry, it's ten It's kinda it's just kind of all over the place. There's okay. condition the copies in better condition that are selling for a little bit more and then ones they're selling for a little bit less. Yeah, I feel like I helped with looking at that one at some point, and I feel like it was going between 45 and 50 for like a nice one. I yeah. Think. Would you do 30 on this one? Um, is that crazy? No, it's not crazy. It's not reasonable. I mean, I can knock out five dollars, which would make it 33 dollars. That works. Do that. Cool. Yeah. Honestly, for a game of this age, this box was in really nice condition, and it was complete. The manual was a little yellowed on the edge, but overall, everything was in nice shape. And for 33 bucks, it was a great deal. You can add it to his stack. <laughs> I added another game to the stack. You did? Yeah. What other ones you got? Uh, WWEF Royal Rumble for Super Nintendo. How much is that one? Uh, 33. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll pick up the stuff then and we'll so, just take off what, uh... Yeah, we're still what, below the 100, for sure. Yeah, I'm good, so... I'm not getting anything else. I mean, it makes sense. It's like, you can pay for this or send me money. What's the difference, right? Yeah. yeah. So, still going to you. Right. Right. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's not worth noting that picking up the check here was actually more worthwhile for Anthony than paying me for the games that I was selling him, which was totally fine by me, but he was getting a ton of points for a nice percentage off next time he goes to the store. I'm still looking for Gauntlet. Uh, Dark Legacy? Yeah, for I, GameCube. I have one somewhere, but I, I don't have it complete. Yeah, it's like one of the few games I'm still looking for. I think I have it for Dreamcast, but I want to get it for GameCube. That was what I had it for. I, I don't even know if I still do, but I know I did. I, I saw it, it one time with no manual on GameCube at a store for like 70 bucks. And with no manual, that was like pretty dead on to the price at the time, and I ended up not getting it. And I regretted it after that because like they really don't come up a lot, even, even with the case. Yeah, I should have kept mine. I, I think I had got mine for like thirty bucks when I put it oh, uh, like at GameStop. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They have a disc only ultimate muscle. Ultimate muscle. Yeah. All that stuff right there. Yeah. Some of my favorite like some of my favorite things. You already changed the price on the different Mario? Uh he said it was 95. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Oh he changed it on that one. I was gonna say he said he'd do five bucks off this, but he changed the sticker already, so okay. we're good. Six thirty sixteen. Six thirty? Uh, okay, $32.95, $36.95, $219, $199. We were about this close to being charged $200 for a game that was $19.99. Yeah, I was, wait a second. <laughs> 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 it sounds slightly too high. Yeah, I was like, wait, I think I only bought like one, well, two really expensive ones. They're an extra nine of them. Sorry. Like, it's a good stack, but it's... It's not that good. <laughs> it's not that good. Can you tell me while you're standing there how much that Ribbit King is? Yeah, it's really good. $169.95. Yeah, that's a flop. It hurts, but... Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna keep holding off till I find a complete, but... That's fair. Oh, that is a cool one. It's hard to even find both the discs together, so that's still pretty cool. Not only did I want to find it complete, but I actually already own Ribbit King on PS2, so I probably don't also need it on GameCube. 
Honestly, if I did buy it on GameCube, I would probably sell my PS2 copy. Mm. How many of those do you get? <laughs> More, I completed another card though. Nice. The savings. Hmm? Of what? Any of the consoles? Oh no. Just certain things I'm looking for. I have, I've been looking for a link to the past for a while. Oh, sure. So I'm trying to just complete certain series and I'm trying to complete Zelda. Uh, Fire Emblem, which I had complete until I lost the game, one of the Game Boy Advance ones, and then completing Pokemon. There you go. Great. Thank you. That Appreciate it. Hard now. What Pokemon? Pokemon yeah. I have mo I have everything except for some spin-off games. Oh, okay. Like it's I already have fun. the bigger <laughs> things out of the way. Yes. Oh, the Game Boy, the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games that did repro boxes, but I have the actual games and the actual manuals. Uh, but everything else I picked up complete, like the, oh, the I got I got the big one out of the way, which was Pokemon Box. Yeah. You guys have a good day. Good awesome. Man. Appreciate y'all. Take it easy. I don't know if the audio came out when I was going in, but we just came out of Cybertron video games in Winter Park. That's where we decided we are. Uh, got Wario. And I got two Super Nintendo games that are worth about 65 bucks a piece for $60 total. So that's pretty good. But yeah, we're off to the next video game store. So stick with us. We were gonna head over to another store, but frankly, that store owner wasn't particularly friendly. So I'll probably just go ahead and discard all of the footage from that other store. Not to mention the prices weren't particularly great. We did end up going to another toy store. That'll be next episode. But thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos and when you see those toys and video games off in the distance it's not a mirage you guys have a great day